Have you ever had exciting news you were waiting to reveal at just the right moment? Well, now is such a time here at Bob Jones University. Many members of our BJU family have recently shared with us wonderful accounts of how the Lord has used them, as our mission states, to serve others and to proclaim Christ. Throughout this academic year, we are very eager to tell you through social media and other communications how God continues to work through individuals in our BJU family as they serve the needs of others and give them the gospel. So I'd like to invite you to celebrate with us as we look at these stories of lives on mission. In partnership with Medical Missions Outreach, Dr. Mark Chetta of our Health Sciences faculty has led a team of medical students and alumni to Peru in July, and they called his passion for missions. Here's their story of how they helped over 2,500 people physically and spiritually. The biggest thing I learned from there was that we are all gifted with unique abilities and you do not have to be special to serve. You just have to be willing to serve and God will use you. One of the patients that I interacted with, he had lymphedema in his legs and after we wrapped his legs, he was in tears when he was saying goodbye to us because he couldn't believe that a mission team would come down to help him as well as share the gospel with him. We were there for four and a half days in a clinic setting and we were able to reach over 2,500 people. And out of those 2,500 patients, 300 were able to be led to the Lord. About 297 people got saved. 297 saw Christ. A lot of people, a lot more than I was expecting. Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through the rest of the chapter. When did we see you naked, Lord? When did we see thee hungry? When did we see thee in prison? And he said, when you visit these people and when you feed them, whatsoever you do to the least of my brethren, that you do unto me. And so it was a very inspirational to me to think that I can serve the Lord this way. I made my first medical mission trip with students in 2012. Since that time, I've done 10 trips with students and took over 150 students on these trips. I talked to my students and I said, let's show them the love of Jesus Christ. Let's stand up when they come in, address them eye to eye, and take a personal interest in them. And my students would love on them. They would, you know, escort them to the seat, not just giving health care, but showing them the love of Jesus Christ. This past trip to Lima, Peru, one of the cool things about this particular trip was this was the first trip I took where five of the providers, so nurses, physical therapists, were students who I had taught previously. You know, when you see 3,000 patients in four days, it's, it's do or die. <laughs> you can see it from the first day to the fifth day, the, the transformation that takes place. And I see that after a medical mission trip. They're, they're reflective, they are thoughtful, and they are earnest. And they say, I now see why God has me in healthcare. It was awesome. It was it was very eye-opening and it honestly like God worked in many ways. A couple days into the trip, me and my friend Leah were already talking about where we want to go next summer. And after going on this one to Lima, I realized I love this and I want to do it. And I may be a doctor in the States the rest of my life, but I want to continually yearly go on medical mission trips. They're getting immersed in the idea that I can use this skill set for the gospel. So what I love about BJU is the emphasis on going out and serving the Lord with your skill set that you learned at Bob Jones.